Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show a quick demo that's what I've been working uh, in my current company since last few days. So basically I was just designing, I was just coding a small script which will install OpenVPN to CentOS 6 and CentOS 7. Um, these are of a production environment, so there were a few scripts that I found online, but they were downloading some kinds of uh, folders from their own service. So uh, our project manager just uh, disagreed to proceed with those scripts so they told me or they assigned me to design something by yourself so that's what I've been working since last few days so uh, I've almost finished the code uh, though there are, there are still some changes that needs to be made today just I'm going to show a quick demo between um, um, using OpenVPN at different servers so I'm going to use Linode for the testing purpose so I'm gonna use two servers one is in uh, Germany one is in Singapore so let's start so what I will be doing is first uh, I will just cop again logging into those servers this is the first time that I'm logging into those servers so okay As you can see, there's nothing here. Okay. And the server is. So I'm logged into these two line of service. One is in Singapore and one is in Germany. Okay. So let's see. This is running on center 6.8 and This should be in CentOS 7.3. So these are the two operating systems that we'll be trying on. So I have two scripts. Okay, I have one script that I've made myself. I'll be using SCP to download uh, to upload to our to our to these servers. So I'm gonna use SCP. Okay, open VPN store. Let's save this in root. So this would be any space, okay. It should be going there, okay, done with 40.42. Uh, now let's go with dot .67, okay. Copy, yeah, SCP, open result dot we are, I'm just using root user just for the demo purpose. So if you are just using similar scripts, never use root. Uh, just make sure you use some other usernames because just to be just to be sure that you are safe from brute force attacks. Okay, so this so as you should be looking after new. Okay, there should be the same file that we just uploaded. And this should be in here as well. So it's a bash script, so we're gonna use bash. Uh, IP address, yes, we're gonna use client, yep. So it should in start installing the IP the open VPN. Okay, this is for center six, so we're gonna use the same script. Okay, yep. Client, so that's what it should be doing they both are negotiating and trying to install all of the required add-ons Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I think this is ready, and this is almost uh, okay. This should be ready as well. So let's test it. Okay. Hmm. This is for 172. It should be of some. Sorry, it should be a German ERP. No. Uh, for just a demo purpose, okay, what it does is like you just install everything and just create one client for file. It's called known as client.ovpn. So, what I'm going to do is I'll just click uh, copy all of its content. And, okay. I'll just copy all of these. So for the demo, uh, I'm gonna use Windows uh, 10. I'm using VM, so uh, you should actually know okay, this is this, this these are the just this is just a demo. So um, what I will be doing is uh, I've got the script that I've just generated from the script that I made. Now uh, let's go to Notepad. And just save whatever I've just created and save as. And let's, uh, that's okay, Germany. VPN.OVPN. And we should always, oh, before that one, just make sure you install OpenVPN in Windows 10. Um, then you should save all of your files in program files, OpenVPN and config folder. And just make sure the extension of that file is .ovpn. And if you are using client as a Linux server, uh, you can use any extension. Just make sure you know what the files are and where the files are. So I'm going to use Germany. So what I will be doing is uh, I'll be restarting the OpenVPN. And let's see if I can connect to that one. Okay, I think uh, we are uh, there now. Let's see if I can ping the internet first. I think I can. So what's my IP address? Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting 172.104.156.42. If you see our uh, um, server itself, okay, this is the same IP. So, what we can say, okay, we are, uh, okay, this one actually worked. So, let's disconnect this one. And uh, let's get back to uh, the one. Okay, I think uh, this one is ready as well. So just make sure. I just want to make sure if we are, which version is it in. Okay, it's center seven. This should be okay. So it's in same file client. Just make sure you copy these ones as well and uh, just go to the same windows now we're gonna save it as uh, we're gonna save it as uh, Singapore Okay, now it's uh, let's connect to Singapore. So we are in Singapore. Just make sure there is internet connection. Okay, there is internet connection. Let's see what's my IP address is. Okay. I think the okay. Oh, okay, so okay, I got it, I got it. 
Uh, okay, this is the new IP address. If you want to say, because I just came to know they are of almost they starts with 172 in both of the uh, uh, servers. Uh, so this is in. If you see, it's okay. It's 36. The IP is 172.104.36.67. Uh, okay, this is the IP address that it's using. So, uh, if now let's change to IP address uh, 104.156.142. Which is in uh, let's disconnect Singapore first and connect to German VPN. It should be connecting. We are connected now. Let's see what IP address do we get. Okay, now we got a new IP address. It's 170.156.42 and this was 36.67. So that's all guys. I think uh, the script worked. Uh, disconnect everything. I think uh, the both of the servers worked. Uh, just to make sure these are the same IP address that's using. Okay, that's all guys. Uh, I hope uh, you can just make similar scripts uh, because it's much easier and it's all basically what it does like just it's very helpful if you've got multiple production servers and one script will actually install um, the whole VPN server to multiple servers at once so it just saves a lot of time. That's all guys for now and I might be making some more videos regarding the automation very soon. So if I ever install it, uh, I will just upload to YouTube. Thank you.